like that. He'll float past you. He'll mm. dummy. He'll go just like an old rugby player used to do, where they think to throw it and keep it, and they're past you. Right, you lot. You asked for it. You said we want to see a Brecci Ezzy, and you shall have an Brecci Ezzy review. I didn't know what to expect from him. I'd heard a lot in terms of goals and tricks and flicks, and we all hear the same stuff. But I really sat down and, and watched a few clips of him and highlights to try and understand would he fit in a David Moyes team. And is he as good as everybody says he is? He's much better than people can even give him credit for. He plays much more centrally than you'd expect him to. Yes, he can play from the wing. And yes, he can cut in from there and assist and create goals. But he's much better centrally. And he's happy to do it and come in deep and picking the ball up and running with it. He can pick it up on the edge of the box and get a shot away. He's very good um, at finding the target and creating chances for his team. I love seeing players that are able to carry the ball over the length of the pitch, take pressure off the back four um, and, and begin to allow the team to, to cut in, create angles and create chances. What's more impressive to me is the fact that he can pick that ball up and run with it and begin to take people on and draw people out of position. Next season we are going to play against teams like Burnley and we found that out a couple of weeks ago that will sit deep. They're very compact and they like it like that. We don't have a number 10 that can draw them out of the position. But Ezzy's physicality means it's difficult to get the ball off him. Um, the fact that he's able to move past players um, and hold them off through his balance and his natural ability to dribble. The, these two things are the things that separate him from a Ben Rama or a Fournals. I personally would like Jared Bowen uh, and Mikel Antonio to start on the wings next season. Um, but I believe if Ezzy had to do a job there, he could easily do it there. I think if you want the best out of him, you give him that free roll. And, and something about that number 10 role is, is really important to the way that David Moyes plays. I think Ezzy comes in and makes it his own. And I think in terms of offensive ability, in terms of him tracking back, he suits the style of play that we want. He's young and he'll get better. I don't believe, despite all of his qualities, that he's going to come in and get loads of assists and loads of goals in the same way that I would say Ben Rama does. But the one thing I would say is I think he takes better to the league than Ben Rama. Because I think Ben Rahm is one of them players that, yes, he's very good and he's, his final pass is quality, but I think teams could push him out to the wing, make him uncomfortable, uh, and make it difficult for him to perform at the highest level. But as his ability to use his left and his right foot, he's scored multiple goals with left and right, he's assisted a few goals with both his left and his right foot, shows to me that he's going to be difficult to pin down. Forget physicality, forget dribbling. He's going to be difficult to show on either foot and create a game plan for, and that's what makes him dangerous. Getting onto his transfer fee that he could command, I've heard the rumour is around 10 to 12 million. If that is the case, it is an absolute no-brainer. We've sat there for a whole season with someone like Lanzini and Anderson on the bench. They don't offer the same quality that Ezzy would offer. And you could sell them, recoup some of that budget, and spend it on a player that's younger, that's going to get better, that fits in with the style of play, that seems to have the correct attitude as well, which is so crucial. Um, it's, an, it's just a no-brainer. I, I, I couldn't believe how good he was. I genuinely couldn't believe how good he was. If he's available, West Ham, go and get him. Don't muck around. I believe we've got a lot of content coming out over the summer. I'll be regularly blogging and regularly doing my thing. So keep an eye out for it. Uh, and until then, take care.